Hi everyone, it's Ellen from Classroom Unbound and I am back to show you guys our homeschool room for the 2020-2021 school year. So just giving a quick overview as you walk into the room, this is a shared space. I work from home so that's primarily my work area but then also we do some learning in here. So starting off to the left, we have this huge map and the map is in German so that we can learn the German names of the countries and the oceans. And down here, a little cart. On the top I have coloring books, um, uh, sticker books, origami paper, and then here construction scratch paper. And then down here some flashcards, some popsicle sticks, money, and um, some counters. We use some of these um, shells we collected um, in the ocean from, I think, Japan or Thailand, I forgot. Uh, but here we have solar system poster, and then this is our little workspace. Have four stools here so that I can sit with the three of them while they're doing work. This is our little um, caddy of things, and I like to. I like this because I can just take this if we want to color in the living room or in the um, dining room. We can just take you know whatever, oops, whatever small section that we need. And these are a little cramped, but whatever small section we need and then leave the rest. Um, we have a computer for their work. Uh, they do some math on here, as well as bits box and typing practice. I decided to get them their own computer because I didn't really feel comfortable with them on my MacBook. Um, and then some additional art supplies, paint, paint brushes, rulers, and some extra pencils. And then here is just a little poster of the sounds in German and then also the Dewey Decimal System, what is in each section. I like to hang up a lot of posters around the room because I feel like they walk by them and look at them and maybe something doesn't stick with them right away, but eventually they'll remember something that they saw. Um, just the other day I was trying to describe a muscle to my husband and thankfully I had this hanging up and could tell him exactly what was sore on my um, body. Um, okay, so here is my workspace, and I crammed it kind of together. I know there's not really much space here, but I could fit through there, so it's fine. But I crammed it together because I wanted to make sure that my kids had enough space to learn and move in here. Um, so what's over here is you know, basically just my computer and printer, so I can easily grab whatever I print off. Um, and I teach online, so then that's my little area there. Down here I have all my teaching related books and then some old bullet journals and then right um, there are some my planners for my curriculum um, planning books. Here we have flashcards, whatever we need to do to help um, staple papers and hole punch. We have our 80 marker set. We love this marker set. Um, and some magnets with letters, numbers, flashcards, my to-go through pile. And then coming around here, we have laminator and then the sheet cutter. I forgot what that's called. Um, and then here I have some extra sheets that I have laminated that are just kind of some random things. Um, like we've gone through the animal group so I have that still here and I can hang those up whenever I want to go back through those again um, let's see some multiplication tables um, hundreds charts they can take that out and use that to help them with math we're going through some atoms so just random things that I'm just not using at the moment but can pull from if I need need to we have butterfly chart. This area, I kind of divided up the sections. So the top here is math related, and then here is geography related, and then here is science related. And then, uh, but they're not related down at the bottom, just at the top. So just showing you up here, and then just hanging up their art so they can see that every now and then. Um, and then here, just, to give a quick overview, I just have like documents that I have that's for myself, extra supplies, encyclopedias, um, books that we're not using at the moment, but um, like their story of the world and some uh, math puzzle, us born books, um, and some travel related books. 
And then this middle area I have organized by child. So Niall, my nine-year-old is here. Kai, my eight-year-old is here. Um, Avery, my six-year-old. And then these are some books that we use across all three of them. Um, and this year they are, um, He's basically fourth grade, he's between um, second, third grade, and then she is first grade. And then here we also have some extra books. Um, so like the history that we'll be using this year, just some extra random house books, um, some science related things, language arts related, all down here. Um, so I can pull from these and use however I need to. And then we have the door there. So this is our homeschool room for the 2020-2021 school year. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please let me know down below. And thank you for watching. Have a great day.